an unscrupulous young man had fancied this girl for ages, but she had shown no interest in him. So, he decided to play a trick on her. The next time he saw her son bathing on the beach, he went up and said, Hi, Julie. I bet you 10 pounds I can keep an eye on my clothes while I dive into the sea. Now Julie felt pretty sure that it would be impossible for him to dive in and watch the beach at the same time. So she accepted the bet. The young man took a false eye out of his pocket, put it on his clothes and then dived into the water. When he returned, he smiled and said, Come on, Julie, I bet you another 10 pounds I can bite my own ear. Oh, no, she said. Not more tricks. I suppose it's plastic teeth this time. I promise you they're my own, he said. So she accepted the bet. He took out his false teeth and bit his own ear. Now Julie was down 20 pounds and feeling very annoyed. <laughs> Julie, I'll give you a chance to win all your money back. I bet I can make love to you and you won't feel a thing. Now Julie knew all about sex and she knew that was impossible. So she took the bet. He got down on top of her and away they went. Oh, oh, she said trumpantly. I can feel you. Oh, well, he said grinning. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> Larry is 95 and lives in an old folks home. Every night after dinner, Larry goes to a secluded garden behind the center to sit and ponder his accomplishments and long life. One evening, Florence, age 87, wanders into the garden. They begin to chat, and before they knew it, several hours have passed. After a short lull in their conversation, Larry turns to Florence and asks, Do you know what I miss most of all? She asks, What? Sir? Florence exclaims, Why? You old fart! You couldn't get it up! If I paid you, I know, Larry says, but it would be nice if a woman just held it for a while. Well, I can oblige, says Florence, who gently unzips his pants, removes his manhood and proceeds to hold it. Afterward, they agree to meet secretly each night in the garden where they will sit and talk and Florence will hold Larry's manhood. Then, one night, Larry didn't show up at their usual meeting place. Alarmed, Florence decided to find Larry and make sure that he was okay. She walked around the gardens and she found him sitting by the pool with another female resident holding his manhood. Furious, Florence yelled, You two timing old creep! What does she have that I don't have? Larry smiled happily and replied, uh, Barking son's disease. <laughs>